Good morning, everyone. I'm Laura T. Dream Deals 123 on eBay, and I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I've been selling on eBay on and off for 20 years, about six of those full time. And I'm here to tell you what I sold last night. Um, I had a nice weekend. I uh, went to see my granddaughter and family down in Virginia and we had a really good time. So I didn't put up a video for a couple of days. And this is also going to be longer because this is the whole weekend of sales. I have 17 items. And uh, at the end, I, I wanted to talk about um, one of the listeners asked a question about how my husband supports me or if he supports me in retirement doing eBay. So I'll talk about that at the end if you're interested. And let's start with, I made over the weekend $353 worth of sales gross. We're going to break it down and f figure out what is net. I sold this very nice Lauren Ralph Lauren long sleeve button down remember button down is when the button when the collar buttons down otherwise it's button up uh, button down shirt custom fit blue check size XL that sold for oh boy I've got my thing all written down yesterday and more things that anyways this sold for $18 and I made about ten dollars on that <clears throat> i sold this girls green shirt size eight long sleeve christmas nostalgic graphic tee retails 31 dollars new with tag and i sold that for 12 dollars and made about four dollars on that and that's something I've had for years so a lot of this stuff I'm pretty happy it, it is finally moving but I really had to slash the prices so but some stuff is new a lot of stuff I'm selling is stuff that I just recently bought as you will see in this haul I have a lot of stuff from that dog doggy doggy rescue fundraiser I sold this Bobby Brooks I'll probably vin yeah obviously vintage I don't have that in there but it, these it looks vintage Bobby Brooks woman's embroidered denim jumper dress fall woodland animals small four to six I just saw this and thought this was very very cute got little chipmunks or squirrels and birds on the back and this sold for thirty dollars and I made uh Brooks $30 and I would have made about $14 or $15 on this <clears throat> okay here's the sold this vintage tie bow wow beanies dog toy crinkle and squeaker skunk stinky this sold for $26 and I made $18 on that you know, it's a beanie baby for dogs. <laughs> and I did see, this was one of those weird beanie babies where like in some places this was selling for like $1,000. But um, it's obviously worth something because I made $18 on it. And it sold pretty fast. I think I might have had that in an auction actually. All right, I sold this Donna Sharp woman quilted wallet trifold quilter cottage core boho purple green and i sold that for 16 dollars and i made seven dollars on that okay this is something i got for about a dollar at one of the recent really ch good yard sales with really cheap clothing very nice 100 percent silk nordstrom lingerie ivory camisole round neck 1990s vintage size 14 and that's sold for $18 and I made $8 on that all right <laughs> I glanced at this as it sold and I thought it was a I just saw the red and cap and I thought it was a baseball cap so I spent a few minutes panicking looking for this this is something here's a tip 
Sometimes if you can't find it, you might have looked at it wrong. That happens to me a lot. Like sometimes I think I'm looking for a sleeveless top when I'm actually looking for short sleeve. So there's a tip. Double, make sure you're searching for the thing you really need. Okay, this is a top of the world Marilyn Terrapins knit beanie toque, toque, I like that word, red M with flag on back. Okay, red medium. So that sold for $14 and I made $6 on that. That took a while to sell. All right, here's a Talbot's Tea, which I guess is a kind of a sub brand of Talbot's. I'd never seen it or heard of it before. Um, Talbot's Tea. Talbot's Tea shirt, T, M, medium green blue scoop neck short sleeve and I sold this for $19 it sold pretty fast and I made $10 on that all right here's an Ann Taylor loft this this sold quickly Ann Taylor loft woman's large sweater pink long sleeve pullover sold for $23 and I made $13 on that that was listed definitely in the last couple of weeks Here's something that had been listed for a while and I took a pretty low offer on it. And then I realized as I'm looking here, I write in my SKU area, I write how much I paid for it and it doesn't show up when I'm like looking at offers and stuff like that. Sometimes I, I usually just use in my head, I kind of say, oh yeah, I usually pay such and such for shoes or whatever. And I didn't realize I paid $10 for these, which I was probably expecting, I mean, I know I was expecting to get a lot more, but they weren't say, selling. I sold them for $30 and made about five bucks on those. So you win some, you lose some. Roan Women's Stamped Diamond Gossip Gray Ankle Leather Booty Size 8. Very cute, really great condition. I uh, am thinking about maybe getting back into shoes a little bit and applying my newly found policy of going, basing my buying on style versus brand, which is what I've been doing with clothing. I mean, brand counts, but style is super important. And if you have a cute style right now, brand doesn't really matter. They sell good style, size and price. So I might go back and look at the shoes, although, like I said, we're going to probably be moving, so I don't want to... Well, what I'll do is I'll make sure they're shoes with a really good sell-through rate so they don't have to hold on to them. Because I do like doing shoes, I think. I don't know. I seem to get a lot of returns with shoes, and it's such a heavy uh, shipping. If you're doing free returns and free shipping and everything, it can add up. So anyways, made $5 on those. Okay, here's another little ornament that I got at that uh, dog fundraiser. Vintage Old World Christmas birdhouse ornament, four by two inch, retired glitter bird. And that sold quickly, like I said, this month for $19, and I made $10 on that. Another... Um, from the doggy thing, Simply Fido, lamb squeaky toy. Sure it works. Uh, I, I liked it because it's organic. Organic is always good. New puppy organic non-toxic dog toy. And this sold for $17 and I made $8 on that. And another thing from that, the Thunder Shirt anti-dog anxiety jacket. Size extra, extra small, under seven pounds, Heather Gray, sold it for $16 and made $9 on that. All right, here's something that's been around for a while and it's I, I probably picked it up. It's a bunch of plastic toy trucks. I, yeah, I think once in a while I do stuff like this. You pick up toys, little toys. I'm not really good at it or, or it was something ridiculously cheap like a dollar for this and then a whole bunch of match boxes I think were with it or something like that and I thought oh I'm gonna find one of those great match boxes and spent all day going through it and didn't have much luck anyways 
plastic toy tractors construction trucks bulldozers plow vehicles classic good and i sold these for 21 dollars and made 12 dollars on those and i probably had those for a year <clears throat> now here's something i've had for four years i got into these jackets a little bit but quickly got out i didn't like it but i did pick up a few at that uh, dog place because they were amazing uh, anyways, this is a nice Brookford Classic lined men's jacket, sport coat, two button blazer, 42 regular, and that sold for $37, and I made $19 on that. I guess when I bought these, I was thinking these would go for like hundreds of dollars and things, and they don't, some of them do, I guess, but, oh, here's something cute. <laughs> I didn't get it at the dog thing. Very cute, like, uh, I just got this at the uh, at Goodwill. Leoma Love Grove Purple Orange Colorful Art Short Sleeve Terrier T-Shirt terrier Large. And this sold for $31, and I made $17 on that. That's nice. And... Yeah, last but not least, I got a big tray of vintage Westinghouse stuff last month at a yard sale. And on it was like these tie clips. And uh, I put five vintage Westinghouse tie clips, 10 year, 25 year, like they were anniversary clips. Slide rule, geek gift. And they sold for $39. And uh, I made $25 on those. Very nice. That $8 lot of Westinghouse stuff has been very nice. I love stuff like that, don't you? And it's just like under... person doesn't know what it is. You maybe don't know what it is. And then it ends up being nice. I mean, it's nothing fantastic. Not like the time I found a, uh, a songbook written by... Frank Sinatra for 10 cents and sold for $400. That was a good one. One of my best. But this was nice. Um, and it had been in my death pile for a long time, just sitting there with a whole bunch of sheet music. And I was like, hey, I'll sell this lot of sheet music. And I'm like, well, maybe I better check out each individual piece. Boy, was I glad I did. Um, okay, so I made... 353 and that's for Saturdays Sundays sales um, usually when I do this it's just the night before so 353 gross and I didn't add it on here I'm sorry it's at about 41,000 gross I do it in my head and 192 192 net so that puts me at 20,000 like 750 something like that so somebody asked if my husband is supporting me doing ebay in retirement and he definitely is and when he retires hopefully next year he's gonna jump in and we're gonna do it together because we love it we love he already goes to the yard sales with me and things like that because he helps and he helps me a lot carrying things um because i use a cane and everything so He's very helpful, very, very supportive. Uh, yeah, we both love it. It keeps us young and, I mean, it's a very cool thing to do because it's, it's like a job you can have that periodically you get like such a thrilling thing will happen, like that Frank Sinatra book. I mean, it's exciting. It's like every trip to the Goodwill is exciting. I wouldn't, I mean, I might be able to go back to work or go work somewhere and make more money, but um, I don't have my freedom to do what I want, something that I really, really love doing. So I I love it. And he, yeah, he definitely supports it. And I'm going to train him in all my ways when we retire. And really, my son is doing it. My uh, daughter-in-law is doing it. Her son is doing it or 17 year old is doing it um lots of people are doing it it's a great way to make extra cash it's a great way to make a full-time living i think 
Um, I don't have to make enough to support us because my husband makes a good salary. And I also do a lot of other stuff. Uh, I don't just do this. We have some rental properties. We have some Airbnb, an Airbnb. We're selling a house right now in Missouri. And I take care of all of that kind of stuff, talking to everybody. And uh, so, yeah. It's not just eBay here, but it's a big part of things. We really like it. And then when he retires, it'll become even a bigger part of things. Because you know what? What else are we going to do? Sit around and watch TV or something? I mean, it's fun. All right. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. Oh.